If you're a local guide for Google Maps, there's a couple of little hidden buttons in here which you may or may not know about. So the first one is that we've opened up Google Maps and I'm going to open up your contributions or my contributions and then immediately um, flick it over when it does open up to Photos just to get off of the uh, review part. And then you'll notice that there is a share button at the top here. So if you wanted to share your um, contributions, it's a very easy thing. But I would say that sometimes, occasionally, let's say there's a picture of a little toy ambulance here at a university. If you said, oh, I've taken this picture, have a look, and you share it, sometimes there are photos that are privately to you or on your account or have not updated publicly. So this is the thing. Go to the top right menu button, the three little buttons there, and you can see there is a button that says view your public profile. Now it is the public view. So if you can see that I had a couple of like little um, ambulance things on there, they're not there according to what you see on screen. Now they may well be at the page, but they're not surfacing for some odd reason. So if you said something like, here's one at a railway station which I took, and you said, um, here's a picture where you can lock your bikes up and at a weekend there's tons of bike locks because the London commuters are at home presumably and not lock their bikes up. Here's a picture. That's fine. So what I'm getting at is if you go back and you this time look at your own private lot. OK, we've established that the two yellow ambulance things aren't like visible immediately, but those couple of pictures are. Those were on mine and then we've got some bike clocks again so it's slightly different and the other thing is that we can let's say we wanted to get our copy to clipboard which is the um, part of the public profile should we say go over to Chrome and you can check this out where I'm going to open up a incognito window which carries none of my Google Maps or any login details and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this new link down here and enter it and once I've done that I should get even though it's a web version of what's coming up publicly there it is similarly slightly different this time in that you haven't got any blue links at the top but I bet some of those are clickable anyway and there you go through it's slightly slightly different and the last thing the last thing to show is this one and that is when I say this one is the top right again and it is add to home screen. If I add that to home screen then what happens immediately is a contribution button there which I'm now moving around look bottom left which is automatically on your home screen which is similar obviously to Google Maps but it is a direct button. Should we click it? Tell you what let's um, come out of everything and then I go back to my home screen as a final point to test it out. Click on it, Google Maps does open up and it is opening up as, don't know what it's going to open up, the similar thing which is the contributions panel. So there you have it, another couple of little tips for Google Maps, Google Local Guides.